Ladies and gentlemen, a 2017 Ford Edge tried to ruin my day, but I wouldn't let it. This thing was in limp mode, it was just in third gear. When you pull it into drive, it'd sort of slam into gear, and then it was just in third. It didn't change gear, it didn't accelerate very well. You'd put it in reverse and it would slam into gear too. Let's look at these codes. I don't have my usual Altel right now, it's charging. Forgive me for the snap-on, I definitely do not endorse snap-on products. Many of great mechanics have had the life sucked completely out of them by rent-to-own companies like snap-on. I just don't endorse this sort of thing. A friend of mine retired and he gave this to me, but the two codes I have is a P0715 and a P0717. Both of them are for the input turbine shaft speed sensor circuit. Uh, this one just says circuit A current DTC warning lamp, and the other one just says no signal. Most of these dumb little Ford cars have about the same layout. If you pull the airbox out of the way, that turbine shaft speed sensor is right there at the end of the transmission. They don't usually go bad. I've never had to replace one. I pulled this apart so I could inspect the wiring. The nice thing about these cars is you can unplug the transmission wiring harness from the transmission and pull it right up out here where you can see it. This right here is the connector for that turbine shaft speed sensor. And from here you can test the wires going from this pigtail all the way over here to the PCM. It's pretty simple. Let me show you a couple. Now before I had the bright idea to make a video, I started putting this thing back together. But what I did is I looked for this wire right here. It was a tan and blue wire. I went over here, I opened up the back side of this connector right here, and I found that tan and blue wire. I found it right here and tested it with this continuity tester. It is the second to the last connector on this center row right here. They are not numbered. You have to have a diagram to get the number. Now the second wire for that turbine shaft speed sensor is orange and white. When I had this open, there was only one orange and white wire in there. I connected from here to there, but there was no continuity. I was certain that was the problem, but I moved on to the next wire. The third and final wire for that turbine shaft speed sensor is purple and green. Now the way I'm doing this, I just pushed a piece of copper wire into the end of this. And then I clipped on to the other end of that wire with my continuity tester. When I'm testing these, I'm not pushing my continuity tester into the rectangular holes. I'm only pushing it into the circle test points right there. So my purple and green wire is working and it's the ninth pin on the second row. My only problem was the orange and white wire which is the fourth pin on the second row. I just had to find that break. It was pretty easy to find. All I had to do was pull on it and it broke and came completely out of the harness. Then I laid the wire against the harness and made a cut where it stopped. That showed me where I needed to make a repair. I used one of these crimp-on shrink tube things. I guess I could have soldered the wire back together, but I didn't really feel like messing with it. I'm going to shrink this on there and we'll see if we fix the problem. Something you guys should know, wiring issues aren't usually this easy. This was just sort of dumb luck. I'm actually very excited and sort of beating my chest right here. I know the way I speak makes it sound like I do this all the time or I have this kind of success all the time, but the fact of the matter is I do not. The reason I speak this way is because I have a very heavy Midwestern accent and my words sort of run together. I'm very nasally and hard to understand, so I have to think about how I speak and enunciate. It makes it difficult to express enthusiasm. I don't remember this being a thing with Ford, but I actually had to clear the code to get the thing to come out of limp mode. I don't like that. I would have preferred it came out of limp mode on its own and just saved the code and stored data, but it made me erase everything to get the thing to come out. I imagine if it still had a circuit issue, it would just go right back in. It hasn't done that yet, but I don't like that I had to erase it. But the problem appears to be solved and everybody's happy with the car. Now I'm going to speak honestly about this Snap-on Solace Legend thing right here that's still got a cord dangling from it. A friend of mine claims he bought it about two years ago for over $2,000. I do not believe it. It doesn't have the capability of most pocket scanners you would buy at Walmart unless it's hooked to the internet. It's not very useful at all. I don't like it.